go. All right, the first step for doing the leg bag, you wanna take the leg portion, the urinary bag, and you're gonna take it out of the pouch. The first important thing to do is always push the valve up so it's closed. All these usually come with a cap now, um, but you always still wanna make sure that it's shut. That's the valve to release the urine to empty it. Once you have that out, you're gonna place it on the inner side of the leg. It's important to have it on the inside because you want a straight shot down. Next, I grab the leg straps. And for these, I always tighten up the tightest on one side so that way you only have to cut one side and they have the little clasp that you just hook it through. The soft side is gonna be towards the skin, the bumpy side away. And then they just loop through. I do that with both of them. And And then you're going to slide it underneath the leg, make sure it's not twisted. And then you want these snug so that way it's going to be secured on the leg. So you're going to tighten up. And then you always want to leave a tail too. We're going to cut off the excess, but you always want to make sure a tail because as patients swell during the day, you want to allow for that and that way you're not cutting circulation off. And then you want to tuck back that side in and then loop around. And then you always want to check with the patients too. Does that feel too tight? That feels good. And we'll tighten up the bottom one. And then you want to make sure it's kind of tight again. Give yourself a little tail, but you don't want too much because you don't want the patients tripping on them. Hook that through and wrap it around. Okay. Next would be the tubing. It's important that you don't do the tube too long or too short. Um, if you do it too long, then it doesn't flow correctly into the bag and it could back up, then you don't want that to happen. And then if you do it too short, when the patient bends their knee in therapy, we're tends to have a explosion sometimes. So the important thing to do is always sanitize your scissors because this is a sterile clean, I should say. I don't know if it's truly sterile. We're not doing sterile gloves. Um, so the first thing is going to be to measure it. So I always line up at the calf secure spot and down here. And then it's always good to have the patient try to bend their leg or help them bend their leg. And then you want to make sure they have enough room to give and I just give just a little bit more so about right there I'm gonna cut it and if she needs to she we can stretch that leg back out all right so before I cut it I'm gonna disinfect my scissors and then trim off the excess And then it's important, I alcohol swab here and the clean end. Oops, there goes my alcohol. And then you wanna connect the bottom end first, that way if there's any urine going through, it's gonna continue right on and you don't have to worry about getting it all over. To connect the top, I disinfect here. And then we're gonna I unhook it because then it gives you a little more room to play. You can always place a towel or a uh, washcloth underneath if you're worried about it. And then if you just pinch the line and give it a good push or pull, that will pop out. And then you can wipe the inside of that. And then I'm still pinched so that way if any urine's coming, it's not going to come out. And then you want to make sure you go all the way up to those three lines. You don't want to go too far, otherwise it's hard to help remove it at the end of the day. And then you want to hook that back up.